He was, uh, I know he is. Uh, he was, uh, uh, he was Cato to Peter Sellers in all the Peter Sellers. Oh. Uh, big yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Actually, there was another guy who was in the, uh, in the Pink Panther movies who played, uh, his, what was the head guy's name? Uh, the, in the inspector's boss? Dreyfus. Mm. Yeah, his assistant was in one of the Francois. Boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody cares. And no one cares. <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. Yes. Yeah. I was like going to get to that in another 15, 20 minutes. Like a bird photograph. <laughs> yeah, no, she was very good. She absolutely uh -huh. was. <clears throat> and, and is it true that if you do paint somebody with paint, that they will die? You have to leave a small section of skin. Oh, that's so true. Read. It is true, yeah. Yeah, it's Yep, it is true. Mm -hmm. Well, you mean they had, to, they had to actually kill somebody in order to get that? Yeah, and then they blew up. <laughs> and they blew up. They killed a bunch of people. And they, well, they started the gold paint killer. They started cutting down. Now the silver paint killed her, too. Let's try a mixture of gold and silver paint. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, that's a good idea, Jamie. Let's uh, kill yeah. more of that. <laughs> Let's set them on fire and see if that works. <laughs> Is it true that a laser to the crotch will actually kill a man? So you should sign up and go. Yes. Yes. All right. Anybody have anything they want to share about the Bond movies with us? Or any questions? Yes. Yeah. I guess since we're all sharing, James Bond. I don't know if this is with the same with y'all, but it, it links me to my dad. He's the one who read the books to me and showed me all the films. And it was something that we had together because my other siblings. Your dad read you the books? Yes. That's nice. It was the original uh, audio book. Right. <laughs> <laughs> My dad was the best audio book. He couldn't do voices or anything. He'd always forget where he was. So he, he missed started to hum it over and over and over and over, over again. again. I don't know what you read the books. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate them. I, 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 I just read them. All I can think is like my poor dad. Like, where was I? That's nice. That's actually very nice. My mom used to read to us when we take we take uh, driving trips, and she would always be reading the books to us. I, I think that's nice. I don't think that happens very often anymore, unfortunately. Yeah. What's your favorite death trap? <laughs> mm, that's a good one. <laughs> favorite uh, death yes. trap that actually worked or that didn't work? <laughs> the idea. Yeah, say a lot of them just simply did not work. The ideal of a death trap did not function. <laughs> most of those things. I have to say, I love that thing in. Uh, in uh, uh, what was the thing that parody that they did with Austin Powers when they, the son goes, just shoot him, we just shoot him in the head. I got a gun. We'll shoot him in the head. And go in there. It's like they always do these things that you can escape from. And uh, and actually, the book. I don't know if any of you read the book Doctor No, but the book Doctor No was incredible because they really went through this whole thing about when he was escaping. They Doctor No had actually set all of these tortures along the way for him to have to go through. And in the in the movie, it happens pretty quickly, and he kind of gets through it pretty fast. But in the yeah. book, there's all of this stuff, and it's really kind of they cool. were studying him uh, how how well he could do with all these different right. temperatures and conditions, and, all. and then at the end, he goes into a uh, like a lagoon that, they, that you can't get out of an octopus uh, in the book. Yeah. yeah, supposedly that's you know the end of you're gonna die in the octopus. My little octopus. Least least favorite Bond movie. <laughs> well, wait a minute, we didn't talk about the trap shit. Oh, the trap! I'm sorry, can I have five more of these? Wait now! Oh, God. Uh, this is bad off. Yeah, I think that's how I'm just going to. I love the, uh, I love the laser. Yeah. You know, the laser uh, between his legs. I just thought that was a really... I think every man in the theater was holding his jump. <laughs> you know? And also, you know, there's there's a couple of them you just like in Diamonds Are Forever when he's in the I don't know if you remember he's in the uh, casket and they put him in the thing to, to the crematorium to burn him up and you're just going how is he going to get out of this? Yeah, that there's reason, the first time no I like, oh, he's not getting out. Of this. Yeah, there's no way he can get out of this. You know, there's no way anyone can get out of that. Right. And even if he gets out, he's in the flame, so he's dead anyway. So they had to bring him back. There's no other way to do that. So. Yeah, they made it off really well. Yeah, well, what do you guys? You want to see Peter? <laughs> so, and then our least favorite? Oh, no, 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 no. my favorite death trap. I'm, oh, boy, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one. Um, I'm sorry, Darren has a 
KGB and he just can't stay on the target. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite. 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 I'll think about it. I'll, I'll come up with stay on targets. But <laughs> least, favorite, least favorite Bond movie. Mine was uh, The Man with the Golden Gun. And although there are things about that movie that I actually like, and I feel that actually, uh, even though it's like my least favorite, and that almost sunk the series, actually, that particular, that it was the worst grossing Bond movie of all. It almost sunk the series. They almost stopped doing it after that movie. And, and they had Red Eklund. Wow. Red, Red Eklund was great, but they didn't really yeah. make much use of her, did they? And I thought actually Roger Moore looked the best as Bond in that movie. Yeah, he, he was good. Uh, yeah, 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 he was good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super close, definitely. Yeah. Thank you, Q. Uh, I think my least favorites. <laughs> so I'll, I'll go on one if you have anybody. My least favorite Bond movie is Octopussy. <laughs> I thought they had gone completely off the rails with that film. I thought it was so hokey and so goofy and just so silly uh, with, with everything. Driving half a car, being in clown makeup and clown shoes to, to defuse the bomb. Uh, the, uh, the island of beautiful women who pole vaults into the, uh, the final battle scene. To, uh, it just it was so silly to me. And the Tarzan yell is in that one, too. Uh, the Tarzan yell is, he's, he's escaping now. He's been, okay, you're done. You've completely, you've completely just destroyed this whole yeah, yeah. What about the well, attack on air balloon? Uh, you know, and then they came back with Three Eyes Only, which was, or was that before them? That was before them. Yeah, never mind. Three Eyes Only is my only favorite. Uh, Roger Moore. I love one of my two favorite balloon. Roger Moore movies, and I thought that they had a nice blend of, of reality and humor to them. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I like uh, both of those are probably my favorites as well. Yeah. And then there's Moonraker. Which is a complete remake of the previous films by Who Loved Me. <laughs> no, but I love the Jaws jet. We're going to make space. We're going to, we're going to build the new master race under the sea. And okay, we got rid of that guy. I'm going to build a new master race in space. <laughs> and okay, we got rid of that guy. I'm going to build a new master race that hovers in between space and the ocean. I'm going to build a new master race in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyone uh, have anything to add? Yes. How about your favorite Bond vehicle? Car, boat, whatever? Aston Martin DB5. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah. Although I have to say, I loved uh, Living Daylight's uh, Timothy Dalton's Aston Martin convertible because it was the only time I think that they've actually had a convertible, an Aston uh, Martin convertible yeah. in a no. Bond film. No, Dr. No, he's not. No, 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 I said an Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Oh, Aston Martin. Yeah. Right. Who gives Johnny a shit about a Sunbeam? It's a BMW convertible. Nobody cares about the Sunbeam. The Sunbeam is classic. Nobody cares. We love the Sunbeam. Sunbeam, hands up. Come on. The Sunbeam. 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 Bring your camera. Sunbeam. 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 Um, oh, how about song? Opening song. What's your favorite Ooh. song? Ooh. Ooh, opening song. For me, it was uh, uh, You Only Live Twice. Yeah. Sung by, anyone? Sung by, first trivia question. Who sung the title song? Two. Two, that one. Oh, I know. I know, I know. Me, me, me. Richard? Does anybody know? No. Oh my god. Nobody knows. Nancy Sinatra. There you go. Nancy Sinatra. Nancy Sinatra. I think I, should, I, should, I don't have a favorite uh, opening credit uh, song. My my very favorite uh, closing credits, which I thought would have worked as a better opening credit song, was uh, Katie Lang's uh, version. Yeah. Um, what movie was that? Uh, it was was it uh, Tomorrow Never Dies? Yes. Yeah. 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 What do I win? Surrender. <laughs> uh, so there's that. No. Who can name the title th opening title sequence? Who can name the three songs? Song by Shirley Bassey. Shirley, song by Shirley Bassey. Shirley Bassey sang three songs. She was the only one that sang three title songs. Was there a song that sang three songs ever? No, three Bond titles. Three Bond no. titles. No. Songs. Don't scream them out. Raise your hand if you know. <laughs> Wow. What kind of a bond panel is this, for God's sake? They're here to be informed, but not to answer trivia questions. Yes, yes, you in the, in the sport coat. 